Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to version 2 of C++ Crash Course. Now in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about variables. Now when we're working with you know numbers or strings, we're not always going to know exactly what we want to print out um, ahead of time, right? So we can't just do the same thing we did in Hello World, which as a reminder, we can go back and look at our Hello World code, which was just print out the string directly, Hello World. A lot of times we may want to manipulate the string or maybe we're computing some value, right? And maybe that value is the sum of a big chain of computations. So we'll need some temporary places in order to store these values, right? And that's where variables come in. So in this case, we'll start out by talking about variable declaration. So with variable declaration, what we say is, hey compiler, I want a floating point number, which will just be a decimal number like 10.5, 11.8. If you want to know more about floating point numbers, you can look at the uh, IEEE 754 standard. So what we're saying is, hey compiler, I want enough space for a floating point number, and I want to refer to it as A. So every time I write A, I'm really referring to a particular floating point number in memory. Likewise, I can you know, declare multiple variables, so b and also sum. So when I want to assign a value to these, I'll just use the equals operator. So I can say a is equal to 5.823 or b is equal to 10.123. I can also declare and initialize variables on the same line. So in this case, I say int i is equal to 10. Likewise, I can also initialize a variable as the sum of two variables, right? So I can have some arithmetic operation on the right side and set it equal to something on the left side. So I'm saying sum, which I've declared as a variable up here, is equal to a plus b. So I just need to remember that um, I want to make sure that I'm declaring my variables before I'm using them, otherwise the compiler will yell at you. Likewise, I want to sure uh, I want to make sure that my variables have been initialized before I've used them, otherwise I might be reading some garbage values. So another neat thing in terms of uh, types in C++ is we can use auto types. So auto types goes back to this thing called type deduction. And it's where we basically tell the compiler to figure out what type this variable should be for us, right? And it turns out the compilers typically do a very good job at this. Now in this case, it's fairly trivial. We're saying auto i is equal to 10, right? And so this will end up being deduced as say an integer. Now it's important to know that auto itself is not a type. It's telling the compiler to figure out what type this should be, right? So you can't have say just auto i right here, right? So this is going to be illegal. As it says, it says declaration of variable i with deduced type auto requires an initializer. So if we use an auto type, we have to initialize it on the same line. Okay, and then at the very bottom of the program, we do some more things, right? So we end up printing out what the integer is, and we print out the sum of a and b is sum. So we can chain out prints together here, which we showed last time a little bit with just hello world and in line. So we are printing out in line, which is a new line character. In this case, we're printing out a couple of strings, a couple of integers, so they don't all have to be the same type. We can mix ints and floats and doubles, all right? And we can just rely on C out to take care of this for us. Now there's a lot more things that we haven't covered here in terms of variables. There's you know special kinds of containers that we can use from the C++ standard library. We can even define our own uh, types. Um, there's also other built built-in types. So like we briefly mentioned, there's things like double precision floating point numbers. There are unsigned numbers, and then we'll get to things like pointers later. So let's go ahead and compile this example though. So we can use G++ again. We can put our input file variables, dash O, and we'll give it an output name like variables. And then we can run our program and we can see that we've got some integer 10, and then we have the sum of 5.823 and 10.123 is 15.946, right? And all of this was um, without having to write in the values directly, right? So we didn't have to write in, you know, 15.946 right here for sum. We could just set it equal to a plus b and then print out sum down here, 
right? So variables are a very convenient thing. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. As always, I have all this code posted online at github.com slash coffee before arch. So here we're looking at C++ Crash Course, and I have links to all the old videos and all the uh, currently being updated files. So in this case, we can go to um, Fundamental Concepts, we can go to Getting Started, and we can go to Variables, and we can see the code that we used in this example today. But that's going to do it for this video. As always, feel free to send me any questions or any uh, particular topics that you would want a video on. But as always, I hope you have a nice day.